Welcome back to another day at the water dump for the bottle dig. So last time I dug a little bit over there. This time I've got a bigger shovel. It's not huge, but it's bigger. It's got a longer handle. And I'm gonna try to dig a lot of this dirt out to over here so I can access more of a surface area besides just like one square foot. Um, I don't see anything huge washing out. I see some glass up there, but I did see this uh, jar. Let's see. Um, ooh, it's got a pretty bad chip in it, but this would have been a ball jar. I'm probably not going to keep it because of that chip. They're not super uncommon, but um, yeah, ketchup as well. I think some of this might have been thrown up here by me <laughs> a year ago. It's hard to remember. Um, yeah, this is a uh, messed up Tishner's, so it's not worth keeping. But yeah, let's go down to down here where the bottles looked like they started to uh, appear. That looks to be broken. But yeah, I'm gonna dig, probably not in the wall because that's newer stuff. I'll probably be digging here. Last time I dug here, this time, ugh, I'm gonna try to move a lot of the dirt. So I'll bring you guys up when hopefully I find the first bottle. Well, right when I was setting the camera down, I saw this Coke bottle. I'm not sure if it's intact, but so far, ha, ah, it's not intact. But, um. Yeah, this would have been a Coca-Cola bottling company. But I'm gonna keep it because this looks like it might not have any two flush cracks, so I can make it into a cup. Small cup, but hey, it'll be a cup either way. Um, and a while ago, I said I found this piece. I left it by accident, and it seems I found it again, so I'll keep that piece as well. It's just some interesting copper hinge or something. But yeah, let me get back to the dump, which is behind me right now, and then actually start digging and bring you up when you actually find a bottle. So. I like how I said how I was going to dig all this out and not dig in a square foot of space, but that is hard to dig all that dirt up. So I'm going to wait till it gets a little colder and I have some other people with me to help digging. So instead, I started digging in a square foot of space. So first off, over here, let's see, where did I stick it? I did pull this guy out. Ugh. It's just one of these um, clear cosmetics or something, so I'll clean it up at the end. It's intact, so I'll be keeping it. Um, nothing special. I found plenty of those. Don't really know what they are, but found plenty of them. Um, and the reason why I started digging over here was because in the wall were these two glass shards that would have been amazing bottles being tagged. So first would have been this amber medicine that was something G C H E R medicine. Um, Chattanooga, so it would have been an amber medicine, and that would have been a great bottle to get intact, but of course it was broken. And then of course this uh, Cobalt Baltimore um, says drug at the top, so I don't know what it would have been, but it also would have been a pretty nice bottle. So that's why I started digging here. But I brought you guys up because I think I got my first bottle. It looks like to be a cone ink, so um, sadly it's screw top, so I'm not exactly deep enough. I'm just getting to that darker layer where the older stuff is at. but. Oh, it's not a screw top. Okay, so it's got a just a curled lip to it. Um, I don't think it has anything on it. Ooh, it's got some nice air bubbles to it, so maybe it is pretty old. Oh, it does have something on the bottom. So I can't read it right now, but I would have put it up on screen when I pulled it up. So I'll clean it up and put it at the end for you guys, but this looks like a really good find. Cone inks are pretty cool, and as I said many times, I love finding inks. They're one of the most interesting bottles to me. So yeah, I'll bring you guys up when I find the next bottle. All right, I think I'm pulling up a slick, uh, straight-sided Coke, but I'm, the neck is broken, but it's pretty intact besides that. So, oh, no, f no, why is it? Oh, this would have been an amazing bottle. This is a slug-plated Coca-Cola bottle. So they actually made this in the town I'm in. I did not know they did, because I haven't found anything like this. Why does it have to be broken? Uh, this is the saddest bottle yet. It's so close to being attacked, but I am definitely keeping this. I'll be cleaning up and putting this at the end, but this, this is the saddest find yet. It is a slug-plated Coca-Cola. Gosh, that's so sad. I'm really hoping I find another one, because that means they made it in the town I'm in. I always thought they made the other ones that doesn't have the slug plate, but they do have them, so now I'm hopeful that I'll find some intact ones. But man, that is so sad. There was something else down here. It's like half a bottle, but um, might as well pull it up since I have you guys up. Uh, uh, so, um, yeah, this would have just been some sort of jar, nothing special. Um, actually, this could have been a milk now that I think of it. Hmm, 
Well, it's too broken to tell, but uh, man, that Coke makes me sad. Who knows, maybe I'll find the neck of it down here. Uh, but that's a good sign, because that means they're, for one, they made them in this town, so I should be able to find them. And two, I'm getting to the bottles layer. So once I get below this black layer, that's when I start digging things. Now you see how deep this is? That's why I'm a little hesitant to dig this, because I'd have to dig that deep on the entire area. But I definitely need to, because bottles like that are everywhere in here. As soon as I set you guys down, I hit, you hit something with my shovel, and it turned out to be a bottle sticking out of the wall right here. It's got a good size to it, and it's broken. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, this is a nice sized bottle, but hope, I'm hoping it was just an antiseptic, because, you know, I have plenty of those. Yeah, so this was a Dr. Tishner's antiseptic, so I'm not too sad about it being broken. I have plenty of them, but still, this was a pretty nice sized bottle. You usually find the smaller ones, because the smaller ones, you know, are intact most of the time because they have less surface area to break bigger one but more likely to break so it's broken but yeah that's okay uh but that's still a great sign i'm finding bottles here here and the ink was over there and i've barely even scratched the surface of the darker bottom layer um okay i feel i feel a lip of something right here i don't know if you guys can pick it up my finger's going into it right there so um it won't wiggle so hopefully it's intact but most likely it's just a fruit jar or something but yeah i'll uh, bring you guys up when i pull it out but this turned out to be a pretty big bottle it looks like and it seems to be intact jesus this is gigantic um <laughs> wow i'm really hoping it, because of its size that it has something on it um but uh i don't feel anything on the sides Man, that's so sad, because they had so much room to be able to put something on it, and they don't. <laughs> What's down here? There's nothing even on the bottom. Well, it could be blown, so um, I'll clean it up and keep it if it is blown. Uh, I might even keep it if it's machine made, because this is, this is really well intact. There's no chips on it, at least that I can see. So um, I'll clean it up at the end. But this spot is right next to where I was digging last time, and it's already proven to have more stuff in the first few minutes than the other side did the whole time. Alright, so here's a little glass stopper for, um, for some reason the GoPro decided to stop recording right then, but yeah, uh, as I was saying, I found a little stopper for some sort of bottle. I forgot what these bottles went to, or like these stoppers went to what kind of bottles, but I'm kind of surprised I found it because I usually lose those because since it's in the water, it's really hard to see them. Um, I'm just running my hands because you never know. Every time I set the camera down, I'll find another bottle. So I'm running my hands first before I set you guys away. And look at that. There's a bottom of a bottle right there. Almost looked green for a second. Okay, I think it's a Coca... It definitely has embossings on the rim. Um, so it could be Coke, but it feels kind of small. Um, all right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna have to dig this out a little bit more because I can't wiggle it at all with my hands. So I'll bring you guys up when I pull it out. So this has proved to be a little harder to dig out than I thought because as I was digging, a snuff bottle appeared right there, and this bottle's still right here, and this is like a log that goes continuously that way. So I don't have any room for the shovel. So it's like I have to dig it out with my fingers, um, and it's proven pretty stubborn. But maybe I can pull the snuff bottle out. Ugh, there we go. That helps. All right, so. Um, Another snuff bottle, nothing on it. Uh, looks intact, it was in the mud so it should clean up nicely so I'll be keeping it. But um, as I've said and as you've seen in previous videos, uh, previous videos, I'll be finding a lot of snuff bottles. They seem to like their tobacco products and you find a lot of broken them but for some reason these things tend to stay intact. So uh, I find a lot of intact ones. Uh, let's see if I can reach my hand. Oh man guys, I think it's broken. Uh, what was it? So this was a straight-sided Coke. Um, yeah, none of the embossings up top like it was on that previous Coke bottle. I'm really hoping for some of those intact. I'll reach my hand back here, just in case. There's like some really flat plate going from here to over here that's keeping me from digging. Um, but yeah, let's see. Don't think I feel any bottles, so I'll bring you guys up when I find the next bottle. So I just found a little milk glass jar. This would have been for some cosmetics. Um, it says pond on it, or ponds. Yeah, and there's probably more stuff on the bottom. Nope, 
Okay. Well, these aren't too special. They tend to st stay intact because of their small and their condensed packed uh, thickness. But uh, I'll be keeping it. They clean up well. Since they're white, they usually uh, look really nice too on a on like a shelf or something. So I'll be keeping it. And it's embossed, so there's that plus two. I found it just right here. Yeah, I don't feel anything else around it, but I hit it with the shovel, and that's how I hurt it. See, because you cannot see things in here at all, especially if it's below the waterline. So yeah, I'll bring you guys up when I find another bottle. So I think that hard layer on the bottom that's making it hard to dig through are, is a bunch of leather shoes. <laughs> this seems to be a place where a lot of shoes were dumped because I've found probably over 15 of them since I've been digging in this area alone. So they seem to dump a lot of that here. And hopefully below that is where they keep some of the older bottles. <laughs> but um, I'm fine with finding Cokes as long as they're intact, <laughs> you know. But um, yeah, every handful is going to pull up broken shards of bottles. And I'd really like, uh, you're always going <laughs> to look more shoes. Um, you're always going to find more broken than you do intact. But yeah, this seems to be a good little pocket of where intact bottles were all back here. I'm wondering if there are any more below this, below the um, shoe leather. But yeah, I'm going to keep on going. Hopefully I find something for you guys again. <sighs> and not just broken things like that. So I think I found one of the second or third most common bottles I find, and that is a ketchup. Ugh. Feels to be intact. And it's got embossing all around the rim. So, um... Yeah, I might be keeping this because I usually don't find embossing on ketchups. It's in good condition and it has embossings, a lot of embossings on the bottom too. Um, I wonder if this is a ketchup. I mean, it feels like one. I, I would have put it up on the screen when I um, pulled it up. But this is a pretty bottle with not any breaks to it. So yeah, I'm probably going to be keeping this. It looks pretty nice. Like I said, I normally don't keep ketchups because they're, you know, never embossed. But that one was heavily embossed. So, um, yeah, I'm just running my hands on camera under where that bottle was just in case one appears because that happens a lot. Uh, but yeah, what was this? Okay, that's why it feels weird. This is just melted glass. So I'll be running a lot of melted glass because of this dump, but that's okay because there are intact bottles mixed in with all the melted ones as well. <sighs> At this point, you're just digging through soup, but it's kind of interesting. It keeps you cold. Um, so it's nice after digging so long. But yeah, I'm going to pull you guys up when I find the next bottle. So when I'm pulling up a bottle, it feels round like a Coke, but I think it's too small to be one. Yeah, it's too small. Um, it does have something on it. And it's really deep. So it has a... Hopefully it's blown. Um, it has embossings all the way around and down the side. Um... Lee, you know what, I'm not even going to try to read it. It's up on the it's up on the screen for you guys. I'll find out what it is later. But yeah, I think it's machine it's machine made. But yeah, I'll clean it up and uh, show it off at the end with the rest of them. However, let me run my hand where it was. Because I didn't feel that at all until my shovel hit it. And it was just sitting on the bottom. So there's another bottle right next to it. Uh. Alright, so this is one of those... I don't know what to call it, pickle jar, fruit, food jar of some sort, just a lot of texture to it and no embossing. Um, yeah, I'll just throw that over there for now. Well, let me run my hand again because like I'm saying, I don't feel those until my hand's right on top of it. Dang, that was sharp. Okay, so let me see if there are any bottles around these guys. There's lots of glass. <sighs> yeah, I don't think there's... Anything else, I'll turn the camera off and it will probably appear right after. But yeah, I'll pull you guys up when I find the next bottle. And like I said, right when I set it down. So this feels like it's going to be a giant medicine. Hopefully intact. Yes. And it's got nice embossings to it. Ah, it's just Dr. Pearson's. Um, so I have, a, I have a few of these. This is Dr. Pierce's Flavoring... Wait, oh no, I, let me rephrase that. Dr. Pierce's favorite prescription. Um, never seen, I don't know if I have one of these bottles, not, what, not with favorite prescription on it. So it has um, PRV or PV Pierce 
MD and maybe a town. Yeah, that's really, yeah, Buffalo. And I think this is a blown bottle. This is a nice bottle, guys. So uh, I'll be cleaning this up and showing off the end. And I don't think there are any mistakes or cracks or anything to it. So this is a great bottle. Again, I'm going to run my hand down where I found it because you really never know. And more melted. It's weird because everything that's melted is the same cup. So maybe the cups melted and then they threw them down. Because that those cups that are always melted. I never find really anything else melted but those cups. <sighs> okay, I don't feel anything at the moment, but right when I set the camera down, something will appear. Usually I hit it with a shovel first, which always scares me, but you do it lightly so that you don't break it. The shovel's really there just so you can find where the bottles are. But yeah, I'll bring you guys up when I find the next bottle. This would have been interesting to be intact. Also, kind of creepy. Um, yeah, so it's some sort of pottery that had some interesting uh, designs on it, but yeah, I won't be keeping that. I can just go out. Just thought it was interesting to point out. <laughs> that was pretty deep as well. Ugh. But yeah, it's getting to a point to where it's really hard to dig, but I know there are bottles, and that's what's so sad. I just need like a a team of people so I can dig a hole bigger than this um, and let the water drain out or get a bucket or something to drain the water out. So this is probably going to make the last bottle for digging. Ugh, it feels to be broken. <laughs> oh, kill me. Uh, this looks like a great bottle too. Um, it says, I'll clean it up and have it up on the screen. I think it says, or said, Dr. D. Jane, Dr. D. Jane's alternative, alternative, <laughs> and then it had a street address, I think, maybe not, Chesterfield 242, I'll clean it up, and I'll try to put it up on the screen, but that's sad, because this feels like it would have been a nice blown bottle, I'll feel my hand back there to see if there was a bottle or the neck of it was still here yeah I don't think there's anything else that's sad but okay um as you guys saw today there are definitely bottles here I just really have to dig deep and that's just kind of hard to do in here but uh yeah I'm gonna clean up the bottles and give you guys a recap so today seemed to have been a really good day for bottle digging I found a lot of bottles best ones were broken but that tends to be the case most of the time. So I'll start over here with this ketchup bottle. It is machine made but it has some nice embossings of the um, of the Warners uh, and companies. It says catsup, that's how they spelled it back in the day, C-A-T-S-U-P, catsup bottle. Um, and then it has some numbers and patent dates on the bottom. So it's a pretty nice bottle. I'll definitely be keeping it because most of the time the ketchup bottles are just completely slick and nothing on it. Once I get over to this Dr. Pierce's, so this bottle kind of confuses me. For one, it says Dr. Pierce's favorite prescription, so that's nice. Um, and it has RV Pierce.md on the side, and then Buffalo, uh, New York on the other side. But I thought it was blown earlier because there's a hard seam that goes up the side that stops, but then there's another seam from the neck that's smaller that goes and stops near the left of the other seam. So I don't know what that means. I'll have to look up more about it. I think it's. I mean, it's either machine made or it's blown, I don't know, but it's a nice color, it doesn't have any dinks or anything, and it has some air bubbles in the back, so it makes for a nice bottle, so I'm not complaining. Um, get over here, this is a diamond ink bottle, so I found plenty of these, not many of the cone shapes, but yeah, it's machine made, but it has some really nice air bubbles in it, so it's a, it'll make a pretty bottle. And as I said before, I really do like inks. So here's a snuff bottle, it, um, nothing on it, just a typical snuff, snuff bottle and it should clean up nicely, it has a nice amber color to it uh, and that's why these are collectible, because they're nice amber colors. This is one of the first bottles I pulled up, there's nothing on it, it's just one of the slicks, cosmetics, shoe polish, ink or something, I don't know what was in it, but I have a lot of these and I feel like I can do something cool with them so that's why I keep them. Um, going down over here, this was a Worcestershire's, um, sauce bottle and it's Lee and Perrins. I, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. Um, it is machine made but it's got a nice color to it. Um, 
and it has this weird like valve cork at the top so i'm assuming that's how they um controlled it coming out but yeah it's intact no flesh cracks to it so it's pretty nice so this giant bottle amazes me for one it's a giant bottle intact and two it's blown so it's even older than a machine made bottle so it kind of amazes me how this thing stayed intact but because it's blown and even if it was machine made i'd probably keep it because it's a huge nice clean bottle it's like a good coin bottle or something for a shelf um it's got an air bubble at the bottom so that's nice and probably some along the back it's got a pretty bad stain but i can clean that up but yeah it has no chips no flesh cracks or anything so it amazes me how this thing stayed intact in this dump um, and now getting on to some of the sadder finds. So there's this guy that was the last one I pulled out. It says Dr. D. Jane's Alternative. Um, and then I, it might have kept going. I think it probably didn't. But it says 242. And I don't get these symbols. It's kind of weird. It's like it either is chest sphila. Because it's like chest with a weird T, S with a weird T, then fill with a weird A. So I don't know what that was. I'll look it up, and I would have put it on the screen earlier. I'm going to keep it just because I've never seen this bottle before. Um, but yeah, it's kind of sad that it's broken. Ah, I'm getting on to more of the sadder finds. So here was a Coke. It was one of the first bottles I pulled out as well. Broken neck. Um, Coca-Cola bottling company. And this is what's normally that I find. This type of that has nothing on it because it's not select plated. However, today, I found this guy. This guy is a slug plated Coca-Cola bottling company from the place that I'm in. And the neck, of course, is broken. But I have never found even shards of this style, this slug plated Coke from the town I'm in. So it amazes me that they are here. And so as I'm happy that I found it to know that I had the chance of finding these now, but I'm sad that the first one I found is broken. But I'm definitely going to be keeping this. Both of these can I can probably turn into cups once I find out, how, find out how to do that. But for now, yeah, that's all that there is today. Some great finds. If you guys got this far and you like what you see, consider subscribing to my channel. Even like this video if you liked it. But I'll be coming out to this dump or something else if I'm not here. I will be going out once a week. And I'll be posting the videos maybe Monday or Tuesday once I get them edited. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys again in the bottle dump.